everybody it's spooky sunday today for our family we are off to fox's farm to the pumpkin patch and so we've planned a kind of a halloween day around our pumpkin activity so got a lot of fun to look forward to today we've been kindly invited to the pumpkin patch by fox's farm who i'll link down below but we've been there for the last three to four years actually for our pumpkins and it's really fun there's a lot to do so we will take you along with us so Foxy Farm actually have locations in Colchester and Basildon. We go to the Colchester one. We've got about a 45 minute journey and we got snacks. We're at the pumpkin patch. We're at Foxy's Farm to come we, and choose some pumpkins. We, we need fashion just, hats. We, brought, <laughs> we just saw a lady come through with loads of pumpkins. We did, a big wheelbarrow full of all shapes and sizes, wasn't it? Yeah. So the pumpkin patch is open from now every weekend until the end of October and is open extra like during the half term and you can book tickets via the Foxes Farm website which I'll link below. But are you ready to go get some big pumpkins? Yeah, 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 yeah. So here's the price list for all the different pumpkins that are available. So they go um, like in size order from miniature through to giant and then there's some extra like Halloweeny bits and bobs as well. I'm excited to see these giant ones. I did get a giant one in 2019 and didn't have a wheelbarrow so I had to carry it around which was um, fun for my biceps. But this looks amazing. So many photo opportunities and two of the three pumpkin fields are ready. Um, so we're gonna go see which cool pumpkins we can find. Heard of thing, the grey pumpkin and green pumpkin. Yeah, they have all colours here, don't they, babe? Yeah, they have green ones, black ones, all shapes and sizes of pumpkin. Oh, I love these ones, they look like little moons. You like that little cutie? Of course we can, go put it in the wheelbarrow. We've got our first pumpkin. So we're just here exploring and trying to think about the different coloured pumpkins that we might like. So we're going to make like a display. I really like the black and white ones and obviously classic orange. But there's so many shapes and sizes. Like, oh, we're going to end up with a lot. I think I think there's three in our wheelbarrow already. But as you can see, there's lots of photo opportunities and hay bales to sit on. There's a swing set. There's a burger van which is tempting me over more and more by the second and obviously the great big fields full of pumpkins so we're going to take our wheelbarrow around now and just see which pumpkins we might like to buy I know I do definitely want a giant one but this is amazing it's so autonomous and cool wow there's so many so this info sign is really cool so they actually have to order the seed in March and start getting the land ready. And then they plant them in the April, uh, water them, hope it rains, and then they grow. They take 90 to 100 days to mature and ripen. So a lot goes into getting all these pumpkins and literally there's so, so many. So Paisley, how many pumpkins high are you? Five. Five, just like your age. That's so cool. What about you, Rob? I reckon six, yeah. <laughs> no tippy toes please sir <laughs> six and a half pumpkins she just told me she's found a pumpkin that looks like a bottom which oh yes <laughs> that's a very interesting pumpkin isn't it would you like to climb up there <laughs> cool you're such a good climber little monkey can't get up there but you can wow you're so high <laughs> our first large pumpkin is it a good shape would you like to twist it round and see that it's a nice shape all the way around yeah, oh look that one's still attached yeah, we're now. We're gonna get that wow oh my goodness there's a monster one here look at these pumpkin flowers they're beautiful i've never seen like such a flower what do you see oh wow a pumpkin puller face go on then <laughs> Hey cutie! We've got our monster pumpkin. That is a good choice, darling. Very round and symmetrical. Found it. Could you lift that? No. It was a two-man job, wasn't it, between Paisley and Rob? So we've got some big ones now. Paisley, look, there's a hide-and-seek pumpkin patch here. I think you've got to find these guys. 
little game for the kids like a scavenger hunt where you have to find these pumpkin faces so let's go look of course you can gotta go look for them in the fields there's another crate of like more interesting looking pumpkins here and i think we're definitely gonna grab one of these i love the shades of this one here he's very pretty and these like marrow ones we had one like this last year but they're nice as well and paisley would say there's the bum pumpkins so i'm gonna walk you over to that one come on oh he's called onion squash we found the onion squash and oh look at it there's loads more guys up there oh. wow let's go find them all mm -hmm. oh goodness are we buying that too yes <laughs> found crown prince pumpkin and I he he's these um moon pumpkins that we liked Mommy, lots of them to one. choose there where yes let's go see it <laughs> we found gold medal pumpkin this is fun area and we're lost in the maze aren't we darling i remember when we came back in 2019 there was a whole big corn maze and that was so so much fun it's scaled down now um, but it's still really cool to walk through isn't it darling and see how the corn grows Selection. I think it's really about 10 in there. Yeah, but one is for Penelope. One is for Penelope, you're right. Paisley's best friend likes Halloween, so we're going to drop her off a little white one because that's super pretty. Well, it's heavy, isn't it, Rob? Is <laughs> I asked her what her favourite colour is, and one of her favourite colours is So, yeah, I think this is going to be um, quite a big pumpkin budget. I'm going to be able to pick it up. How are we going to get it all in the car? I don't know. <laughs> So we've got all our pumpkins now. Paisley's had a little go on the park area. She made some friends, it was so cute. She's getting to the age where like, she really interacts now. She's like, do you wanna be my friend? Do you wanna play with me? And I'm just like, oh baby. But yeah, gonna go see the damage. This is what I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> it's so heavy. Are you ready? Oh goodness. Woo, oh, dear. That was always Okay spent way too much on pumpkins and now we've got to try and get them all into the car and the car's going to feel so heavy isn't it when we drive it's going to feel like we've got 10 men in the back and Paisley what did you get babe let's see Blowing it out to keep the and guess what I also got a magazine and a pumpkin carving bits isn't it yeah, these are pumpkin carving bits. amazing we've got it all in we I sure did get a good selection didn't we my darling cow <laughs> wow so we're home for the pumpkin patch. It was really fun, wasn't it? Uh-huh. We are uh, set them up. Yeah, we I set them up. To, I wanted to put some in our backyard. Oh, did you? We can put some in the backyard too. Should we show the guys the ones out front? Yeah, do you, we'll do a grand reveal. It looks really good, but I am a bit worried that they're going to be stolen because last year I saw it on our ring doorbell. Some teenagers walked by. This was after Halloween though, so they probably shouldn't have been out anyway. It's like mid November. Um, the teenagers walked by and grabbed our pumpkins and like lobbed them down the hill. Oh, yes, we got this earlier as well from Home Bargains for Christmas because they sell out the nice Christmas bits quite early. So we grabbed a little feather boa. Okay, so here's the grand reveal. Ta da! Of all our pumpkins and our Halloween decor for fall. There was more than this, but we gave some to Paisley's best friend Penelope. Um, don't stand on it, babe, but break it. She's been in a vlog before. Yes, people, you I may you may have seen Penelope before on our channel. Um, yeah, we've got a little selection both sides. We've also got our full wreath and our happy Halloween 
doormat out as well. So I think that looks really nice, babe. Do you? And these are our full decorations inside. So we have the um, Phantom Rose candle there with a little skull on the top and these pumpkins which are from um, Pound Stretcher, that's the one. And they're actually a bit um, more lively with faces on. And, and they light up like disco pumpkins as well but I prefer them just plain. <laughs> I prefer them like this. Sometimes Pacey does turn them around and put them on. Um, but yeah, no disco pumpkins for me, preferably. We've got these candles which are pumpkin spice scented and this little skull that we got from Home Sense um, and these skulls as well which are from Home Bargains and they've got them in again this year. We bought them last year but they're in there at the moment. And then I've got the Bath and Body Works Champagne Apple and Honey Candle because that's quite autonomous as well with all the leaves on it. And we've got some new decorations to put up in here too. Yeah, these only arrived yesterday but they are from Main Street Paper Company which is a new small shop on Etsy. It's run by my friend Jenna and it's amazing. It's just lots of um, Disney themed bunting and we've gone for the Halloween Mickey pumpkins and Mickey ghosts. So I'm going to go pop these up. And that will be us for our Halloween decorations this year. So here we have the bunting up. It came with nine characters on. So I've done five along the top there and left it a bit more slack. And then four more in the middle and a bit um, on a tighter bit of string there. But they're just up with sellotape. Hopefully they stay. If not, I'll have to find another method. Maybe some blue tack or something for the end of the ribbons. But they're gorgeous and the quality is really, really nice. So... Really happy with those. If you need any um, decorative bunting, be sure to check out Main Street Paper Co. Um, you won't be disappointed because these these are gorgeous. And the last bits that we got today was this um, carving kit, which is actually from Foxes. And it's really handy because last year we needed one of these and we couldn't find one anywhere. Like, especially the closer we get to Halloween, these had all sold out in like home bargains and the supermarkets and things. And they look really good. There's stencils in here as well. So I'll have a flick through in a second and show you those. And then Paisley wanted these glow in the dark pumpkin teeth um, for the Halloween season. So, yeah, <laughs> they're quite cool actually. Okay, so we've got not just traditional pumpkin faces, we've got a bat cave. Oh, a blood sucker. He's a bit scary. The Wicked Witch. A boo ghost. He looks like Oogie Boogie. A mama mummy. Axe attack. Black Widow. These are really good, actually. Oh, and it's got the difficulty level as well. That's cool. Yeah, that will really help us because I'm not the, um, the best at pum uh, pumpkin carving, so... <laughs> This should help. So our last activity today for Spooky Sunday is to make these Halloween spooky biscuits. So we're going to decorate them. These are from Tesco. They actually had a couple of different Halloween ones in. Like there were some black bat cakes and things. But Paisley chose these. So going to give them a whirl. The shortbread biscuits are actually quite easy, aren't they, darling? We only need butter. Quite a lot of butter, mind you. 80 grams. And that just used up the last of the lure pack. So... <laughs> Need some more butter tomorrow, but do you want to tip it in there, darling? Tip the butter in the big bowl, and then we need to tip in the biscuit mix, mix it up, and make our shapes. That's it, little chef. Soften up the butter and mix it all in till it makes like a, a dough. The Great British Bake Off started this week. I need to catch up on that, actually. If you guys watch it, let me know. I hope it's going to be a good season, this it's one. nice. Does it? Going to take like short bread. Awesome. Having a little try of the cookie dough. Did you want some, babe? No. Patty, do you want a little spoon? Yeah. I need to do this again. Because it's yummy. <laughs> cookie dough is so good. Right, monkey, you want to flatten it out? Oh, there we go. Good girl. These are very easy to make. Oh, it's a bit sticky though, isn't it? It's okay. Do you want me to do it? I was just saying it was easy, turns out. Maybe it's not. The biscuits are in. It was a bit of a challenge because I added up the butter wrong. So I had to do a calculation to like take away what the pot weighed that I was measuring them in. And there was too much butter basically. So it's fine. We fixed it with a bit of flour. But there were some decapitations and amputations. So 
don't know how our little guys are going to turn out but can't wait to try them they're only in there for 12 minutes and we're going to have them for supper once they've cooled and we've decorated them and we're going to watch a bit of vampirina to finish off spooky day and we are fully ready for spooky season <laughs> guys i'll just say as well whilst we're waiting for these biscuits to cook that over on my instagram i'm currently running a giveaway to win these shop disney halloween ears which i picked up yesterday so go give me a follow it's charlotte underscore in wonderland we share lots of um day-to-day -day things and holiday things on there as well it's a disney account and it's a lot of fun so come and give me a follow over there and let's be friends but yeah these are really cute and they say haunt it on the side there and they're really really nice i like them kind of wish i picked up a pair for myself hi guys hi guys <laughs> every time the camera comes out it's hi guys so our biscuits are finished aren't they no one, is one one's left bren that's the dog being gross. That one's for Nanny Cat. Yeah, Nanny doesn't like icing, does she? So, our bickies are done. They don't quite look like they do on the pack. But we had fun, didn't we? We've got yeah. skeletons, mummies, ghosts, and one um, naked one with no icing. So, we'll show you. It's nearly better. So, this is how they should look. And this is how they do look. So it's, <laughs> I like those. I really like those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we done all right, I think. Right, so time for taste test, and then it's time to get sorted for bed. Because we're back. What dress taste test? I know this one. <laughs> what one do you want? Uh, can I go for this one? Yeah. Okay. Mmm, they're good, aren't they? I got my Cheers. Hey, mum, we got crispies. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for watching our random little spooky Sunday vlog. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed and subscribe to our channel for lots more fun. And we will see you real soon. Now subscribe. Subscribe which one looks the best out of all of them in the comments. Good girl. <laughs>